In this tutorial we're going to learn the basics of working with dimensions. Um, so in order to do that I'm going to click on the top view here and I'm going to make sure that we are in millimeters. I can do that by going to my preferences, units and grids and changing it to millimeters. So um, I'm going to start by just creating a polyline. I click on the grid and I go ahead and start making my shape. Now, there's nothing particularly fancy about this shape but I am going to make a uh, just a basic step here. And so there you go, a basic step shape. Uh, I'm going to click enter to exit the sketch mode. I want you to notice that if I click on a side, I can actually move it around. Um, and I can do this with multiple sides. Uh, if I want to view how long a side is, uh, I can do that by clicking on that side and it will tell me the dimension of that side as well as the surrounding sides. Um, if I want to change those, I can go into my context menu here and edit dimension. Uh, from which point I can actually go in and I can establish this dimension here and click to do that and click on uh, other dimensions to establish them. And I want you to notice um, that whenever I try and add another one here it's going to give me an invalid operation. Well that's because I have defined now the length here and two sides. So in essence, I've already calculated what this side is, and this is applying what, we, what we've talked about as called over-defining an object. Um, so if I add this uh, fourth dimension here, that would be over-defining this object, and Autodesk doesn't like that. Uh, if I want to go in and change these, I can click and I can change the value to any value that I want. Um, I can also do this with my other sides. Um, and I want you to notice now um, that uh, when I press enter and I exit this sketch mode, I can actually change um, this, the shape of, of my object, but I can't change the overall length because I've just defined that, the length of this side and the length here. So any of the lengths or the heights of my object, I can't change them, but I can still change the, um, the lengths in this direction. Now if I want to go back in and change a dimension, I can do that by simply going back to my context menu, viewing the dimensions that I've just created, and going back in and changing them. Um, however, if I want to delete a dimension, I have to go in and I actually have to go delete the whole side um, in order to delete that dimension. Um, and so in which case I would go back in and create a new line and now you'll notice that whenever I click on this line and go back in to edit my dimension, that dimension is now gone. Um, so there you go, the basics of dimensioning with Calsby.